Hey crew, welcome back to the channel and happy Saturday. You will get this video today. So this is just a quick and easy prep with me for our Memorial Day. We won't be cooking on Memorial Day, but we will be cooking tomorrow. So y'all will be getting two videos, a prep video and a cook video. So we have some leg quarters here. I'm only going to do a few on the grill and um, some hamburgers and hot dogs and some hot sausages and I have a slab of ribs here that I'm also going to season uh, we're not trying to do a whole lot because we don't want to have a whole lot of food left over but the other leg quarters because we bought two um, bags of leg quarters the other ones over there in the sink that have clean and the queen she's going to um, cook those inside the house so it's kind of like a tag team so here I have my personal barbecue mixture seasoning hopefully one day I'm not gonna say hopefully one day y'all will be able to purchase this and it's not no lemon pepper I just like to mix it in this and if y'all can see that and it contains no salt so this is no sodium at all so this would be really good for people um, that has high blood pressure and so we want to control our salt so therefore we have the salt here and we're just gonna lay a layer of salt on our chicken so if you're new to the channel and you're seeing this please subscribe to the channel click that little bell and set post notifications to all and make sure you like the video before you watch them and comment in the comment section so tell us what y'all been doing today tell us how you are doing down in the comment section below so I'm gonna go in with a little salt and family I try not to use a lot of salt when I cook but don't want no bland food you know can't have bland food around here so to be able to control our salt when we cook, we normally just put the salt in ourselves. We're gonna go in with my seasoning. And I wish y'all could smell the seasoning. It smells just like something fresh off the grill. And I'm not trying to, you know, boast or anything like that. I'm just being 100% honest with y'all. It smells like the grill. Let us know what y'all cooking for Memorial Day. Or if y'all doing anything. You know, most people, you know, be frying up the grill. Or they do a Sunday and go ahead and get it out the way. I'm getting ahead of myself talking to y'all. Excuse me, so I'm going with the salt on top. But yeah, most people, you know, do it ahead of time. That way they can just chill, relax, drink them a couple beers or whatever they want to do. You know, that Monday. Cause ain't nobody got time to be trying to cook then. Enjoy the festivities with the family. Like, no. Cook ahead of time. Prep ahead of time. And go on and knock it out. And okay, now we're going to go. And the day y'all able to purchase this seasoning, hey, y'all would just lay this seasoning in there. Like, man, just go at it. 
Now you ain't got to worry about your, your food being too salty, but it's going to be full of flavor. You know, but that's how the crew get down, you know. We, we like the flavor. So we hold that on that salt. We don't want nothing too salty, you know, because, hey, salt will destroy a whole meal real quick and fast. So, is this the chicken thighs? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Not the chicken thighs. Leg quarters. So, I'm gonna get y'all close up. And I wish y'all could smell this like when I tell you, like it smells just like barbecue. Like, my lord. Oops. I had to get an another blood because you know, some people be trying to come from the cross contamination. I'm like, no. Nah. Anywho, so we have our salt here. We have our St. Louis style ribs here. They don't come in and say, oh, that's pork. We rarely eat pork right here. We can have pork every once in a while. It ain't gonna kill you. Our ancestors been eating pork for I don't know how long. It's something I lived up. 100 plus years. So I don't wanna hear. And say something about it, I'm a block. At one point in time, you probably ate pork too. A little pork ain't gonna hurt every once in a while. But our beloved mother, she said she wanted some ribs on the grill, so hey, her son gonna make it happen. You know, anything for our queen. That includes our daughters, our mothers, and you know, my wife. If they ask for it, they shall get it. We gonna make it happen or I'm gonna make it happen. Regardless how I feel, but regardless what I think, I'm gonna make it happen. So we gonna go in and we are gonna season the top side. And if y'all notice, it's like a even layer of salt and I'm seasoning it from up high because if you season down low you're gonna put in a whole lot of salt so that's the tip always season up high when you use the salt so we're gonna go in with my seasoning and I'm gonna go high too with this that way you get an even spread you know it ain't gotta look like somehow people season meat you be like, oh yeah, look at that meat. That meat seasoned to, to perfection. And you see it be like, oh no, you missed the spot right there, homie. You need to go back and try that again. So you want to make sure that you do the, the sides. Third, we're gonna go back with another layer. And one more thin layer of salt. I'm gonna take this glove off and I'm gonna be all cooked up. I'm just gonna pat it in there. And guys, I'm gonna let this marinate in the refrigerator overnight and try to get rid of it, put it on the grill. So let me take this grill off and show y'all what it is. You go to ribs. So this is a quick prep with me video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up the video, comment in the comment section below. And if you're new and you're seeing this, please subscribe to the channel. You won't be disappointed. And we also have two other channels, Alicia Southern Crew and Mississippi Shopping on the Budget. So y'all please go and subscribe to my wifey channel and let her know her booth ain't joining since y'all over there. And we're going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.